a quick review for this book, The Scout Mindset. I'm going to give this book a high three. I might even give this a book a four eventually. So I do like the author. I listen to her podcast. She has a good podcast. Definitely good information. I like the way she analyzes things. And her writing style is good. I also like the fact that the book is not too short, too long. Some authors prefer writing long. And she did, an, she did a good job on the length. So it's not too long. And there is good enough of information in the book. Uh, what I didn't like about it in some, some parts is that I haven't felt like there is a lot of new information. So it's kind of a, a lot of the same information. I would say it's uh, almost like a typical self-help. Uh, it has she definitely has some new points about the scouting mindset and, and all that. But the way I seen it is more of a, a repackaging of biases. Just don't fall to biases. Just a different package of it. But I haven't learned a great deal of information. Definitely good packaging. But again, on the information side of things, I haven't felt like I learned a great deal of things. Let's see the notes. The scout, the scout mindset is those times where we can learn and not fall for biases and heuristics. So that's what we use the scout mindset. If we don't fall to the default biases and heuristics. Motivated reasoning is having a motive to reach a certain conclusion. That what we do when we have motivated reasoning, we trying to reach certain conclusions. Scouting is looking for alternative reasons or solutions than our initial conclusion. We have to like go past the default thinking and find other solutions. People tend to reason about what is already given, like death or bad situation we would find reasons why it was good. People hold certain beliefs similar to the way they wear clothes. They are singling a certain person. So sometimes people hold a certain view because they're trying to convey something. They're trying to single something similar to the way people wear clothes. They choose certain clothes because they portray themselves in a certain way. Soldier mindset is the default mindset before the scouting mindset. So that's the soldier mindset. She has all kinds of reasons why it's been called soldier mindset, but that's the default mindset. Being rationally irrational is applying rationality only when it's in line with our goals. So we can be sometimes rationally irrational. We know when to apply irrationality and when to not apply irrationality, basically. The quote, hope is a good breakfast, but a bad supper. The way I, I look at it is like, it's good to have hope, but ultimately it would not solve your problems. The problem with relying on soldier mindset is giving our instinct the upper hand. So basically you can look at it, the soldier mindset is, is the more instinctive part of our brain and when we rely on the soldier mindset sometimes it's good but we give that our instincts the upper hand tests to check rigidity often ask liberal questions so it appears conservatives are more rigid it's one of the problems with those tests she points out that when you ask liberal questions it looks it sound it appears as if conservatives are more rigid even though they just don't like, uh, they just answer the way to answer because it's liberal questions, but they're not necessarily rigid. False balance is believing that the truth always lies in the middle. So it's kind of a fallacy. False balance. So when we believe that everything, oh, it's always in the middle, this is not the case. It's also a fallacy. Telling other people they were right is a sign of scouting mindset. So if we were in an argument or in a debate and we we understood that the other side was right and we go tell them that, that's a, sound, a sign of a scouting mindset. 
magician can force you pick the card they want by letting you pick one and either eliminating it or letting you take it. I really like it. it's not I forgot what is related to, but I just like the the way they do it. They give you choose one card and they either eliminate it, okay, let's take it out, or they let you choose it. Depends what they want you to do, which one you chose. Either way, you're left with a card they wanted you to. The status quo bias is favoring what's already giving. That's the status quo bias. We like what is already the status quo. Coping does not need to involve self-deception. Finding the silver lining is often enough. We often try to deceive ourselves that everything is okay when we try to cope with something. But you said she, one of her parts, one of her points is that just finding the silver lining in things is already very helpful. We don't have to deceive ourselves. Confident can be transformed through gestures and understanding of the situation all while expressing uncertainty. We don't have to be confident. In order to be confident, we don't have to be certain. We can still express uncertainty, but confidence is also expressed through gestures and understanding of the situation. It does not necessarily have to be certainty. Super forecasters are doing better than average since they are open to change their view on things as new information reveal itself. So that's super forecasters. Usually they're those who can forecast better than the average. And one of the reasons they're good at what they're doing is because they are able to change, inform change their view on things as new information reveal itself. When someone say they believe in something, it should raise a question. So when someone say they believe with a big B, we believe in something, it's always raise a question because they mean it means they're not open uh, for new ideas. And the last one, the ideological Turing test is successfully taking the other side argument. So when you're able to do it, that's also <clears throat> a part of being a scout. So that's it for the notes. Again, there is some good parts, but I haven't felt like there is a great deal of new information. I think it's just a book about biases and heuristics. And one problem with those books are that it somewhat assumes that it's easy to change things. But as we often know, uh, easier said than done. This is not <laughs> this is not to say that it's not important to talk about those things, but changing those things. Uh, they did like to portray it as if it was easier than it is. But nonetheless, anyway, that's going to be probably a high three or a four. Thank you all.